every single person in this picture was affected. There's, there's a whole generation of kids in here who don't remember my mom. Is that you? Yeah. <laughs> Morgan Coyne lost her mom to a fentanyl overdose four years ago. My mom was goofy. I mean, she she had the best smile. She loved her family and her friends. Coiner says her mom struggled with mental health, but after a knee replacement, became addicted to painkillers, unbeknown to her family. She was isolated. She wasn't very smiley. She wasn't really engaged in her life at all and we didn't really know why. According to a new Kaiser family poll, three out of 10 Americans say they or a family member has been addicted to opioids. And 50% fear someone in their family will become addicted. For Coiner, her mother's death led her to a life of helping others. At the time, I was working at a women's treatment center and I saw my mom's face and every woman that walked in. She now works with Addiction Professionals North Carolina to increase support and resources for those struggling. There's so many barriers. No one should have to not get treatment because they can't afford it. Affordability, service deserts, overwhelmed behavioral health professionals are all ongoing challenges. It takes all of us. We need folks doing harm reduction and reviving people on the streets. We need treatment centers and we also need someone with that class of students who just entered kindergarten. Starting with here's how you, you know, emotionally regulate. She believes Medicaid expansion will help along with the $1.5 billion that's expected to funnel into the state over the next two decades because of the opioid settlement. In Raleigh, Samantha Coomer, ABC 11 Eyewitness News.